Hello, welcome back to another installment of Conquering My Collection. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the film The Squid and the Whale by Noah Baumbach uh, from the Criterion Collection. Again, um, I just filmed one for the, from the Criterion Collection. I'm not sure what, what the chronology is of these videos as I film them, but this is one I should have done at the time, really. It's been a few months since I saw this, but it was a film in my collection I'd never seen before and decided to throw on very spur of the moment. Didn't really think, about, think it through or anything, and it just so happened that when... Uh, me and Connie watched this, um, the film Marriage Story was about to come out on Netflix, so it kind of felt like a weird, appropriate um, watching some more Noah Baumbach films. I really like his um, films. Francis Ha is a really good one. Mistress of Marika I enjoyed quite a bit, but I, it is kind of a, for, a forgettable film at the same time as well. I only saw it a few years ago, I can barely remember it now, but I really like his, his movies, and this was a great one. The Squid and the Whale, this was, I think, maybe his first feature film. Uh, I'm not sure if it says in the back here. Um, shot on 16 millimeter, 60 millimeter film. Uh, oh, the third feature by Noam Baumbach. Okay, so he, he's kind of a seasoned veteran by the time he made this, but this was in 2005. And I was just really intrigued by the cast, honestly, when it came to this film and, and buying it. Um, Laura Linney, Jeff Daniels, Jesse Eisenberg, and Owen Klein, who make up a family unit, um, the, the mother, the father, and the two brothers. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg is, as I guess, maybe supposed to be around 16, 17 in this film. And Owen Klein is uh, a younger, kind of maybe 10, 11, 12, kind of um, younger teenager. Owen Klein is actually the son of Phoebe Cates and um, Kevin Klein. And I thought, holy shit, like it's, it's like acting royalty. And then I realized that he never really did anything else. This was like a one and done performance from uh, Owen Klein. And it's a really mem memorable one, actually, because... He's almost the star of the show. He gives a very strange and, and entertaining performance as this young kid. And the, the whole story is about the family dissolving, basically. Jeff Daniels and Laura Linney's character have decided to separate. And it's about kind of splitting the time between him moving out and kind of then having the kids and, you know, how they kind of wrestle with the, the divorce, essentially. Um, oh, and I forget, I, I'm not sure which, um, which Baldwin brother it is who's in the film. I should say on the back here. William Baldwin. He plays a very funny kind of tennis, t tennis, tennis. No, that's how that's how Sean Connery would say tennis. He plays a tennis um, coach, I think. Uh, a <laughs> really funny character. I loved uh, William Baldwin in this film, and he kind of um, comes across as uh, a kind of a new uh, boyfriend for Laura Lenny's character, and so you know you get the kind of experience of the the brothers seeing a new man in their mother's life and how they're dealing with that. What I really enjoyed was was Jeff Daniels. He gives such a funny performance as this guy who is a writer, perhaps didn't fulfill his full potential. And I loved how you see, particularly in Jesse Eisenberg's character, um, how he is um, essentially picking pieces of his father and regurgitating it. You know, uh, the things that he'd say and, and talking about Philistines and things like that. And uh, looking down on people due to kind of the, the way that they receive art, you know, just, I don't know, there's like a certain thing of, oh, well, they're not very well read, so they're not kind of, you know, snobbery, basically, and the snobbery of Jeff Daniels rubs off on his son, and it comes out in really interesting ways, and probably the, the most memorable way that it does is how Jesse Eisenberg um, pretends... <laughs> And I loved this as a Pink Floyd fan. He pretends in high school that he has written Hey You, the song from Pink Floyd's The Wall. And basically, that's his... I think it's on the uh, the booklet. No, it's on the disc. You see him uh, with the guitar there um, playing the song Hey You. And, you know, he kind of presents it to his family as, here's this song I wrote. He's trying to impress them. You know, it's kind of a creative family. And so he presents this at school. And then, of course, it comes out that this is a Pink Floyd song, you know, so he has to deal with it. But uh, I found that really interesting. And, and there's I mean, there's so many funny moments in the film when Jesse Eisenberg is, he has this girl over and they're, <laughs> they're kind of talking about, you know, art and things like that. And, and he's kind of getting things wrong, but he's like, he's still trying to seem like he's high and mighty about it. I really enjoyed that stuff. The, the humor is very, to me, on point in the film. Uh, Jeff Daniels is great. Laura Linney is great. She has to kind of really be the, the straight woman of the story, I guess, in a lot of ways, and bears the brunt of a lot. Of, I mean, there's a really, like, um, how would I describe it? Uh, not uncomfortable, but there's, like, a really um, a really sharp interaction between her and the younger son in the, in, in the bathroom where he's talking about... I mean, it's just... Uh, 
when you have a, a kid as a parent, I imagine when that kid talks back to you in that kind of way that is just so slicing, it must be heartbreaking and you really feel that. You know, she gives a really good performance in the film. Um, as do all of the, the the main actors, I think. But the, you know, it's a it's a really good comedy that has that kind of it has the offbeatness of a Wes Anderson film. And I know that Noah Baumbach and Wes Anderson have worked together uh, over the the years. I think they collaborated on The Life Aquatic and at least I know uh, the Royal Tenenbaums. But it's kind of like the kind of offbeat Wes Andersony humor, which you can argue is not Wes Andersony because he kind of took elements and cues from certain eighties movies and you know kind of French New Wave and stuff, but. The, the kind of humor that you normally see in a Wes Anderson film, for example, but without a lot of the, the artifice and whimsy of Wes Anderson in terms of the actual presenting of tone in the story, I think. But uh, I really like this. The 16mm the really looked, it was very earthy kind of grain, and I thought the, the film looked great. And again, Owen Klein, I thought, did a, a really good job of playing this kind of um, the, the strange younger brother of the family. And he has a very bizarre... Uh, <laughs> um, quirk in which he um, masturbates in the school library and then just kind of takes the contents in his hand and just rubs them all across the books and there's a <laughs> hilarious scene in the kind of principal's office where Jeff Daniels is kind of, kind of been called into the school to say your son was masturbating and, and rubbed his semen across the books and he's like well maybe it was someone else <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just there's moments which you can't believe what you're seeing um, but it's a very, very funny film. I really, really enjoyed it. And it does speak to the kind of, you know, a fractured family and how they deal with splitting time between the two parents. You know, my my mum and my dad divorced and everything. So, but, it, but it's a little bit different because I was so young that I didn't really get that. But I did spend, you know, my whole childhood kind of going back and forth. And so I kind of related to some of it, but not entirely either. This is a very kind of middle class, you know, family. And, you know, it's it's, it's, it's a completely different world in that respect. But I really liked how the the father's kind of uh, his bitterness over how his life has turned out, you know, has kind of rubbed off a little bit on his older son. And there's an old, it's also a really funny moment where they they go on a don't go on a date, but um, Jesse Eisenberg and his girlfriend are going to go to the cinema, and uh, his dad tags along, and they were going to see something like really to I forget what the film was, but it's like oh we're going to go see this, and it was like a completely non offensive film. And uh, Jeff Daniels says, oh, I heard Blue Velvet showing. It is set in the 1980s. And so it just cuts to them watching like <laughs> the scene with um, Isab Isabella Rossellini in Blue Velvet where she's just naked screaming in the in the house. And <laughs> you just cut to them in the cinema just watching it just like, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I, was really, I just was not expecting to see them go to the cinema and watch Blue Velvet. That was just like a completely caught me off guard and was kind of hilarious. And then Connie was sitting next to me saying, yeah, I never want to watch that film, which is kind of a shame because Blue Velvet is a great film. But anyway, and, and also how Jesse Eisenberg was, 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 you know, the way that he was treating his girlfriend was horrible. And it was kind of coming from his father. You know, it was, the, and you see the influence that parents have over their kids and how, I don't know, there was something about the way the two sons, that their relationship with their parents and how they took things from each parent and how they favored one parent over the other and, and kind of the way that it's all pitted together. It was beautifully written. It felt really well thought out and, and uh, relatable and real. And I, I did actually watch a lot of the um, behind the scenes interviews, which gave a lot of insight. But it's been, it's been months since I saw it, so I can't really remember a lot of the insight, unfortunately. But um, yeah, just great performances, a really good drama with some really funny moments. Great film, really recommend it if you haven't seen The Squid and the Whale. It's like an hour and 20 minutes, so it just it breezes by. Definitely one for me to go back to again and again. And the next video I will be talking about another Noah Baumbach film that I also watched. And again, it was completely coincidental. So uh, make, that, make of that what you will, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, all right by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans and calling into a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. But he's not quite as cool as you. Cause...